Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at volumes. So Kubernetes supports many types of volumes, and a pod can use any number of uh, volume types simultaneously. So let's talk about the different types. We've got persistent volume. So these, this is when you're attaching external storage to a pod, and the data will persist even if the pod is terminated. We have uh, ephemeral. <laughs> I I have looked this up before, but I just can't remember how to say it. Epheromal volumes, so a volume that only exists as long as the pod exists, intended for temporary data storage. So I mentioned here, but we don't actually use it in the KCNA um, as an example. Projected volume, so maps several existing volume sources into the same directory. And volume snapshot, so archiving uh, a volume configuration and its data for rollbacks or backups. So uh, yeah, in the KCNA, I don't show follow along on doing volume snapshots, but they're not that complicated. They're not covered in the exam. Um, and one thing that's not here is PVC. We cover it in the course. I just not mentioning it here because it's not a volume. It's a way of claiming a volume. Now, these are types of volumes, but there's also types of volumes that are supported that you can uh, be backed by, right? So. The idea is persistent volume attaches to a storage class and um, you know it has to be something, right? So here we have Elastic Block Store, Azure Disk, Azure File, Cepher, I think that's how you pronounce it, Cepher, Cinder, Config Maps, um, maybe Local Storage, NFS, Secrets. Uh, we have the persistent volume claim. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff there and you don't need to remember the whole list but you will in practicality understand when we use um, a storage class and we have a persistent volume and we have it attached to something, okay?